Okay, for our next prepared speaker, you already met, you already met him, and he is no other than our TME, PM Neil Christopher Ladores. His pathway is dynamic leadership, and he is currently pursuing the project level 3A, negotiate the best outcome. And the objective of his speech for tonight is to learn about different types of negotiation and the strategies that can be used when negotiating. Title of his speech of his speech is Life is Full of Negotiations. The time limit will be five to seven minutes, and his evaluator is no other than distinguished Toastmaster Dr. Boltz Decoy. Emil, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction, Toastmaster Mao. I couldn't have done it without you. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. Life is full of negotiations. A negotiation is a discussion in which the goal is to reach an agreement between two or more parties. Though I highly doubt that you engage with the more formal type of negotiations frequently, but I'm willing to bet that each one of us participate in any form of negotiation regularly. Have you ever had a debate with a friend on where to go to dinner, probably your girlfriend, or bartered with a loved one for them to do something that you want them to do, maybe your wife? Or have you ever huddled on an overpriced item that you wish to purchase? These are informal types of negotiations, and they share similar styles and tactics of a formal negotiation. There are four main styles of negotiator. The first one is competitive. Now, this is a win or lose scenario. This is a more aggressive approach when it comes to the other styles, but this is used when the time is short. It is when you fight for your position and you do not back down, the other side loses. On the flip side, you have the accommodating style of negotiator, the number two. Now this style is a win-lose, or a win or, or a lose-win, sorry, a lose-win scenario. This is when you give concessions to the other side. You let them win. This is used primarily when you have a good relationship with the other person and my favorite type of style, the number three, which is collaborative. In this negotiation style, both parties come together and able to come up with a solution that it takes a lot of time because you, you argue, you, bra you brainstorm, and both sides will have to need a good relationship, but it could be the best style of negotiation. The last style, which is the fourth style, is probably you've heard of this. It's called the compromise. This technically is a lose-lose situation. Both sides have something to lose, something to lose of what they are fighting for in order to reach a consensus. Both sides may not be thrilled by the results, but they are happier compared to when they started. Now, for example of a negotiation, my best friend and I, uh, we were in the car and we were trying to forget where to have dinner, where we're going to have dinner. She had a place in her mind and I also have a place in mind as well. We tried to mix it up by throwing suggestions, but do you really want that? She wanted to eat at McDonald's and I wanted to eat at Jollibee for a very easy, simple reason that the Jollibee is already close to us. But we each wanted our own. So what did you think I do? I'll give you a little bit of guess. I let her win. No, 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 not to the goodness of my heart, even though I wanted to let her win. But it's because the last time that we went out, we got to go to my pick. So in this situation, 
I let her pick a restaurant and we go to that restaurant. Now, what I said was an example of a combination. This negotiation style or tactic that you will use will depend heavily on the people that you are with and the situation that you are in. Most importantly, it also requires to be handled by your personality. Now, as a person myself, I prefer harmony. I like it when all of us are working together and all of us are happy. Therefore, I could say that I am more unlikely to use a competitive style of negotiating. And also, maybe you could use these tactics to smooth out the negotiation, to set the goal, letting each side voice their own opinion, and making sure that I use I statements so that I could throw my message to them and not make it in such a, in such a manner that they will forcibly attack their side. After doing this project, I'm, I'm more likely to think that I have learned that I tend to use a compromise style of relationship, or sorry, uh, negotiation rather. I'm more on a collaborative side. But I have to analyze a past work negotiation to fully understand the differences between these styles. Previously, I was accepted to a company that offered me a step-by-step -step promotion to employees. And I was a C and I was an able seafarer that time, or an AB for short. I would learn and study my rank in advance, and I will put all my learnings into practice. I would do additional work time so that my superiors would notice me. Once satisfied with my performance, they would hand me my recommendation letter and I'd give it to, and I would give it to the general manager so he could approve it. Sounds great, right? Yes, it is. But the problem was, the president agreed to promote me, but will board me to the same rank as previously and talk to me if it was okay. Again, what did you think I do? First, I agreed. I agreed to the part that having a meeting to talk about it. Then I requested the president if I could have training officers who could also join us to evaluate me on my, to evaluate and assess me based on my skills and abilities. And I had to do my research. I had to study. I came prepared and ready to be assessed. Over time, we were able to combine the effort of collaborative and compromise. But the main reason that I feel that that was a success, not because I got the promotion, but because I set a goal at the beginning and allowed both sides to give their voice, to voice out their concern. And we need uh, to voice out their concern so that I could tell them why I want the promotion and what's holding them back from promoting me. After explaining everything, we were able to calmly understand the facts and move forward with a conclusion. Speaking of moving forward, if I go to my next negotiation, whether it's informal or formal or combined, I hope to understand, to use the style of negotiating. Also, which tactics would better suit me and the environment. When you have a smoother negotiation, you're going to have a smoother life because life is full of negotiations. Thank you very much.